Good morning, J1 in the Florida Keys. I am starting my first project bright and early because this is going to solve a very annoying problem. I know a lot of people in Florida can relate to. There is a small black fly that lives here that's called a noceum because they're so tiny you can barely see them flying around. They bite you and they leave like a mosquito type mark, an itchy bump. Let's hold up here for a moment. I don't think I appropriately conveyed just how vicious these tiny little flies are. They don't just bite you once like a mosquito, but what feels like a million times, and they're extremely itchy. The bites can last up to two weeks because of instead of one puncture wound like a mosquito, they slice your skin with parts of their mouth, so the pain is worse and the bites take longer to heal. So far, nothing we've tried repels them away completely, but we have found a few options that help, along with long sleeve clothing. And they are everywhere. There's so many of them. They come out in the evening. You have to wear long clothing or you have to be inside. And they are small enough to fit through the screen slot. So I know they make no seam screens, but we hear they still get through those. So today's project is using sheer curtain to put over our screens so those little boogers can't get in and bite us. I got bitten up last night so bad that I am so itchy. If you have the will and a moment to spare, it's a beautiful world out there. It's a beautiful world out there. So I have cut a sheer curtain into lots of different sizes to cover all of our screens, and today I'm putting those into our windows so we can sleep with our windows open at night because it is mighty warm here in the evening and uh, that's today's project. How I'm doing that is I'm removing the gasket from all of our screens. So I'm taking our screens off the windows. I'm removing the gasket that holds, I guess it's not a gasket, the rubber ring that holds all of the screen material to the window. And I'm gonna put this um, sheer curtain on top of that and I'm gonna reseal it with uh, a knife. I don't have a tool. They make a tool to put those seals back in there, but I don't have that. So I'm gonna use a butter knife. And uh, that should work great. We did that a couple years ago. Somebody gave us some of that sheer material and it works perfect. It reduces the airflow a little bit through your windows. But if we can open all the windows up, that's not going to be a problem. Alright, so that one's all done. We're gonna pop it back in the window. It should be good to go for the season. See, I taped this one on last night so we get some airflow. Oh, I'll just cut this little extra off and then we can just open our window. And the no seams can't get us. While I'm saving us from invisible bugs, a few friends are helping to save our satellite from being blocked by the palm trees. Yeah. I can't tell you how much I love this little community. Everyone is always willing to jump in and help out when needed. Today we heard there was a new beach here on Big Pine Key and so we're gonna go in search of that. Right now we're making a quick stop at the parking lot. Nick and I are both applying for some hourly jobs just to bring in some extra income on the side and then we're gonna go see what the new beach is about. Pine Channel Nature Park. Oh that's nice. Look at that. Is it actually a beach though? So far it doesn't look like a beach, it just looks like a bunch of docks, which would be really nice if we want to bring our paddle boards down here. Um, I'm going to go check out the other side though, because it looks like there is something over there.
I wouldn't call this a beach, but it's a really nice picnic area and a great spot to drop in paddle boards or kayaks. They've got a little calm swimming area and there's bathrooms with showers, which is nice. That's rare to find. And it's all free here at Pine Channel Nature Preserve, right at the bridge that leaves Big Pine Key heading south. Welcome to the Blue Hole of Big Pine Key. The Blue Hole was originally excavated for the use of a limestone quarry. Uh, many of the original roads on Big Pine Key were built using the crushed limestone from this quarry. When the Blue Hole became part of the National Key Deer Refuge, it was replanted with native vegetation and allowed to revert back to nature. The trail to the left seems a lot better than the trail to the right. The trail to the right just dead ended into vegetation. You can't even see the hole. So we're trying this other trail. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Are you volunteering yet? I am. And these are the only two gators in here, huh? That's right. They don't procreate at all? Well, they do. Okay. But um, male gators are not great to heads. Ah. Uh, so they will eat some of the nice. ospreys will get them. Oh, that's a big old fish, too. Thank you for watching this episode. We really appreciate every view. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing so you'll never miss another episode. And we'll see you next Tuesday for another adventure. Interested in joining our travel crew? Head on over to our Patreon page and buy us a mile. All proceeds go towards bringing better content to you.